so before start the actual project explanation i request you please subscribe my channel so you can see on the screen up till now i have uploaded more than 66 video on raspberry pi the raspberry pi with iot that is all this video then also iot with arduino all this video are 26 and recently we started the new series on the pick my controller before that i also cover the project on the python web application so if you want to learn python iot raspberry pi arduino pick from the scratch and from uh, freely then please subscribe my channel please support me and the most important part is whatever the code i have explained whatever the project i have created on this youtube channel all these projects are freely available you no need to pay anything for this project so just if only point is you should watch complete video and you should follow my process so if you want to learn something from the scratch and freely then support me and please subscribe my channel and please click on like button hello friend in today's session we will learn how we can design and develop a clap sensor based bulb on and off system by using arduino so you can see on the screen we have the clap sensor that is nothing but the sound sensor then we have the relay model which controls the ac bulb and we have the arduino which having the program so before going to next part i would like to tell you what we will cover in this video so we will cover complete hardware connection that is how to connect the sound sensor with arduino how to connect the relay model with the arduino how to connect the bulb through the relay model with the arduino and also we will cover importance of each and every line from the code so i request you please watch this complete video so that you will get idea about each and everything about this project now before start the next part i would like to tell you what will be the final output that is the final demonstration of this project so from the demonstration you will get idea what you will learn from this video so you can see once i give the clap then light will be turned on so you can see and again so based on my clap the light is turning on and time light is turning off so you can see once i give the clap the light is turning on and once i give the clap light is turning off so this is the complete idea behind this project i hope you understand the practical demonstration of this project now we will see the hardware connection of this project and then we will see the programming part of this project now first we will connect the relay model with the arduino so to connect the relay model with the arduino you require one arduino you know you require relay 5 volt then bulb holder then bulb holder pin and then some connector all this hardware you can purchase from the amazon the link of this hardware given in the description from there you can purchase so first part is we understand the relay module so you can see on the relay module so this is the relay module uh, this is 5 volt relay, mo 5 volt relay module so each relay module you can see we have the 3 pin at the output so what that 3 pins you can see there also name mentioned on that 3 pin so first is VCC the second is the ground and third is the input so VCC is nothing but the 5 volt input pin to the relay so this 5 volt input will be coming from this arduino so you can see arduino also having the 5 volt here, here. so from this 5 volt you can connect that relay pin to there then after that there is a third uh, second pin is ground so from the arduino ground you can connect ground and third then third pin is input pin the input pin nothing but the arduino uh, gpio pin that is the third number pin so first we will connect that simple uh, so this is the basic idea so at the output of the relay you can see again there are three pins so input three pins which is coming from the arduino and the output again there are the and the output again there are the three pins so what the three pins exactly meaning so you can see in this three pin so you can see exactly in this three pin middle pin is nothing but the common pin then this pin is nothing but the normally open pin and this pin nothing but the normally close so we will use the common pin and normally open pins so what is that mean so once we give the one signal to this relay model then normally open pin gets connected to the normal uh, sorry common pin gets connected to the normally open pin and this connection will be completed and our bulb will turn on if you connect uh, this pin that is normally close pin to our bulb pin then what will happen you have to give the zero signal to the uh, relay pin so that when you give the zero signal then this pin will be open and your bulb will be turned off so right now for this project we will use only so right now for this project we will use only common pin and normally open pin so first you require this bulb holder 
so this bulb folder also you can buy from the amazon already link is given in the description so each bulb folder you can see there are two two pins one positive one negative or any two pins you have and then there is a bulb pin so what you have to do you have to just cut one pin so once you cut one pin let's say if i cut one pin then i will get two pin like this okay now what i will do in front of you i will cut one pin so you can see each bulb folder i as i said each bulb folder having two pins so i will cut the red pin you can see this red pin i will cut right now in front of you and just show you what the connection you have to do so let's let's understand if i cut this pin so once i cut this pin red pin then one pin is nothing but the bulb bulb folder pin that is cut part and another pin is nothing but your plug pin so this two pin we got right after cut one pin is from the bulb for uh, one pin from the your uh, uh, this plug pin and other pin is from your bulb folder okay now what you have to do you have to just connect that two pin to here one pin to the common second pin to the normally open that's it only okay now we will connect that two pin so one pin i will take this and i will remove from here and just connect to common pin and another pin from the your holder again to the normally open pin so here like this so now you can see on the relay at the output part we use the two pin one is normally open and middle one pin and this pin is open now we will connect this three pin now so it is very simple three pin one is the vcc pin that you have to take one is the vcc pin that you have to take and just connect to the uh, arduino 5 volt okay then another pin is ground pin that you have to take from here and this should be connected to ground and third pin is input pin for the relay and that should be connected to uh, three number pin of arduino so three number pin is here zero one two three so this is the complete uh, idea about how to connect the relay module bulb folder module with the arduino now we will connect the sound sensor again sound sensor you can see there are simple circuit you can purchase this from the amazon again link in given link is given in the description so each sound uh, sensor having four pin one pin is digital output pin plus is nothing but the vcc that is connected to 3.3 voltage of the arduino then ground pin should be connected to ground of arduino analog pin we can ignore for this project now just simple circuit we can do so what i will do So what I will do, I will first connect the uh, ground pin from the sound sensor, ground pin to the ground pin of the Arduino. So ground pin is here, so ground pin is here, okay. So ground pin is connected to ground pin, then VCC pin is connected to the 3.3 voltage of Arduino, you can see 3.3 voltage and then then digital pin from the sound sensor this should be connected to two pin number of arduino so 0 1 2 this should be connected to two number pin of arduino so very simple circuit up till now what we have learned relay pin having six pin three pin as the output three pin at the input at the output you have to just connect the bulb folder circuit at the input there are three pin vcc ground and the uh, input pin for the relay VCC should be connected to VCC, ground should be connected to ground for two sensor and input pin for the sound sensor should be connected to two number, uh, input pin for the relay should be connected to three number. This is the basic circuit and in, in this way we complete the hardware part of this project. Uh, then after that the very important part is power supply. So how to provide the power supply? Just connect this deep, deep pin connector to the Arduino here. You can also purchase this connector from the Amazon and uh, this pin you can connect to the laptop. That's it power 
and then this pin is connected to your uh, 230 volt of AC supply so actual AC supply you will provide from this bulb holder pin and here you can attach your bulb so I think I hope you understand the complete hardware part now we will see the program part of this project so very important point I want to uh, tell you so when you give, give the power to the Arduino you can see there are two LED on, on the uh, sound sensor also two LED on on the relay so this is the uh, fault so what you have to do you have to you have to adjust your potentiometer from this sound sensor so that it can adjust uh, its sensitivity so just rotate this potentiometer to the left side anti-clockwise till second LED turn off rotate it rotate it yeah once you rotate you can just see after rotation you can again adjust the angle after rotation second LED should be turned off I will give the close shot to this so that you will get idea so you can see this is the LED this is the LED like right now it is turning on so I will just adjust this sensitivity to the left side little bit so you can see right now it is turned off and because it turned off the LED of the relay also you can see LED of the relay also second relay also turning off so once I provide the sound then this two LED relay LED and this uh, sound sensor LED should turn on so initially you have to adjust the sensitivity of this uh, sound sensor now let's understand the importance of each and every line from the code so first party you require this software Arduino you know software uh, if you don't have this software in your laptop then please watch my this video accident detection alcohol video so in that video I have explained how to install this software in your laptop so this is very important you should have this Arduino software in your laptop then second part is you require this collab sensor hardware folder in your uh, laptop so how to download this folder the folder link given in the description from that description uh, from that google drive link you can download this uh, project so you will get this ready made code so how to open this code just open this Arduino Uno software so once you open Arduino Uno, Uno software just go to the file and click on open so once you click on open go to that folder clap sensor project folder so this is the sensor hardware and here you can see clap sensor code go inside that one and here you will find the project code then click on open button so once you click on open button ready made uh, you can see code available for you now we will see the importance of each and every line okay first line is constant int sound sensor pin 2 so basically we have connected sound sensor to two number pin of arduino so that pin number we have defined here then next is constant int relay pin to the three number so relay pin we connected to three number in the hardware so that pin defined here so whatever the hardware pin we do we use then uh, that pin we define here then we have some variable that variable use we will see later then uh, whatever the pin we use we have to define that pin as the input or output so how to define that pin as the input or output by using pin mode functionality so you can see pin mode relay pin as output where pin mode sound sensor pin as input so why sound sensor pin as input because sound sensor will send the signal to the arduino so arduino pin act as the input and the relay pin why relay pin as output because arduino will send the signal on the relay pin so that that relay pin work as output so two pin whatever the pin we have used that considered as input output and that pin should be defined here inside wide setup loop and then after that wide loop so this is the main function started so inside wide loop you can see sound sensor digital read so basically when you when you give the clap then whatever the uh, high or low signal from the sound sensor it is read from this digital read function and that signal that is one or zero signal when you give the clap then it will give the one signal and that one signal gets stored into this sound sensor then this sound sensor status is one variable that store that one signal then later we will check if the sound sensor status is nothing but the high or low so if the sound sensor status is high then we have to check first whether our bulb is already on and already off so first here it is checking if bulb, bulb on is false that is bulb is currently off so if the bulb is currently off after clapping the sound then we have to turn on the bulb so how to turn on the bulb by sending the one signal on the relay pin so how to send the one signal on relay pin just digital read function relay pin and high then some delay 
then we have to set that variable one bulb on variable to the true so it's your idea like bulb is turn on so next time when the clap happen then it will again go inside this loop here it will check whether bulb is on yes because it it, it is true so next time it is true then it will come here else if loop here it is checking bulb is off bulb is on yes it is on then turn on the turn off the bulb so how to turn off the bulb we have to write relay pin to the low signal by using this line and once you write relay pin to the low signal then bulb bulb will getting so once the bulb is getting off then we have to set that variable bulb on signal to the fall so whenever next time when the again clap happen then here it will come and here it will check with the bulb off yes then we have to turn on the bulb so this logic will be repeated for the infinite number of time uh, for your project so this is the basic idea behind this code you i hope you understand the code logic and i hope you understand the project also now how to run this project so once you have this hardware uh, once you have this program then just click on this verify button so once you click on this verify button just wait for some second so here it will print compilation done or not now once the compilation done you can see done compiling there is that means there is no error then after that what you have to connect uh, how to upload the code in the arduino basically we have connected this wire to the arduino so usb you should connect to your laptop and once you connect usb to your laptop once you connect usb to your laptop just go to the tool and after that go to the board and here you you should first select the arduino you know board then after that com port so when when i connect my usb to the arduino here you will find com5 to arduino you know in your case it will be com4 com1 or com2 so select that port so once you select that port just click on this upload button so once you click on this upload button whatever the code that we have written gets stored into arduino and your project start working so i hope you understand the complete idea you can see done uploading means it is uploaded the code on the arduino so i hope you understand the complete idea behind this project hardware connection programming part if you like my content please click on like button please click on subscribe channel to support me thanks for watching this video